Hi, I'm Caleb with Muzzleloaders.com. Thank you for purchasing your new Traditions Muzzleloader from us. The purpose of this video is to go over some questions you might have about your new rifle. After you've received your muzzleloader, we recommend visually inspecting the package for any shipping damage. If in the event that there is shipping damage on your package, take some photos, send them over to us and we'll make sure you get taken care of. After that, we recommend opening the box, making sure that you received everything that you ordered. Keep in mind that powders and primers will ship separately due to hazmat regulations and may take a day or two longer. Now that you've made sure you received everything with your order, we recommend doing a visual inspection of the gun. Then we recommend breaking open the rifle, removing the breech plug, and checking down the bore to make sure there are no obstructions. Keep in mind there may be grease in the barrel and on the breech plug. That is from the factory and it is completely normal. Now that we've made sure there are no obstructions in the barrel, we recommend reinstalling your breech plug, closing it, and then testing the trigger, the hammer, and the safety. Before taking your muzzleloader to the range, we recommend doing a thorough cleaning of your rifle to make sure that there are no factory greases or oils inside it. We recommend using a couple of pre-saturated cleaning patches to clean and wipe down the outside of the barrel. Then we recommend using three or four pre-saturated patches to clean down the entire length of the bore. This will ensure that you're removing any of the factory oils or greases. Keep in mind that these patches may come out orange or brown. I can assure you this is not rust and it is not powder residue, it is simply the color of the factory grease. We then recommend finishing it off with a few dry patches on the inside to completely dry out the bore. From here, you are ready to take your Traditions muzzleloader to the range. We've taken many calls with customers asking what load is going to perform best in their muzzleloader. For your Traditions muzzleloader, we recommend looking at the Traditions Smackdown series. Now the Smackdown bullets have been tested specifically in these Traditions muzzleloaders and perform great. Some other options that we've had great results with are the Barnes, the Hornaday, and the Thor bullets that we've personally tested ourselves and have had great results. Powder comes in two options, loose powder or pelletized powder. If you're looking for loose powder, we recommend going with Blackhorn 209 or Pyrodex. If you're looking for pelletized powder, we recommend the Hodgden 777 Fire Stars or the IMR White Hot Pellets. There are many different primer options that will work for you in this Traditions muzzleloader setup. However, the two that we've had the most success with are the CCI 209M Magnum primers and the Federal 209A shot shell primers. For deer sized game, under 200 yards, we recommend going with around a 250 grain bullet with 100 grains of powder. If you're going to be hunting elk or bear, we recommend jumping up to around a 300 grain bullet with a full magnum charge. If you do plan on hunting deer out past 200 yards, we recommend going up to around a 275 grain bullet and also jumping up to a magnum charge. I have a couple of questions that I field every day that I would like to address. The first one being, how many shots can I shoot through my muzzleloader before I need to clean the barrel? There may be a lot of different answers to this, however, I always recommend to use your own discretion. Every powder is different and is going to leave different amounts of residue down your barrel. This is also true with whatever bullet you decide to use. If you find after two or three shots that your bullets are not loading down the muzzle quite as easy as they were, it is probably about time to clean the barrel. We recommend cleaning your barrel after every shot to ensure that every shot is as consistent as the last one. After every three or five shots, we recommend doing a deeper clean by removing the breech plug and cleaning that with a nipple pick and some solvent, and then also visually inspecting the bore from the breech end to make sure that you're clear of all fouling and obstructions. The second question that I get asked is, can I keep the charge in my muzzleloader overnight? 
Can I throw it in the gun safe overnight and then grab it the next morning and shoot it? We do not recommend keeping your powder charge in your muzzleloader overnight. The biggest reason why we don't recommend keeping your charge in your muzzleloader overnight is moisture buildup. With these modern traditions muzzleloaders, it is very easy to remove the breech plug so you can safely remove your powder and your bullet with ease. This will ensure that your muzzleloader goes off when needed the most. Thank you for purchasing your traditions muzzleloader through us. Hopefully this video answered many questions that you have. However, if you do have any more questions for us, feel free to email us at sales at muzzle-loaders.com or give us a call at 855-236-5000. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff will be more than happy to point you in the right direction and make sure that you are taken care of.